State. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. We've got a slightly mixed bag out here. The Dow's off 40 points, about a little over one-tenth of a percent. The S&P is up 15, four-tenths. The Nasdaq is up nine-tenths, or 109 points. Russell's up 10 points. That's a half a percent. Semis are up six-tenths of 18 points. So it is a truly mixed bag. It's not mixed in the uh, Goldilocks area of 12 bucks, shaking off that uh, move lower earlier this morning. Trade out at 17.12. Silver is flat. At 1867, lights recruit is off three dollars. Trade at 9680. Natural gas is off uh, a pop of three pennies. And the 30 Treasury up uh, one point and 21 30 seconds. She's printed out at 140 15. Let's take a look at some of our indices out here, see what they're communicating to us. It's the Dow that is struggling. The Dow is struggling up at a prior level of resistance. That is at the 31,885 level. If price can close above that, then we've got an A to B equals CD to the upside, with the 32,375 being its target. The A to B on the S&P 500 cash is 4030. That's the one-to-one -one level. The NDX 100 is already above the one-to-one -one area. Its next destination would be the 1.272 expansion range, and that's at the 12,771 area. We see the ES the Russell 2000. This made the one-to-one. -one. You're seeing a pullback today. What's that mean, Stevie? Well, what you have is an inside bar. And if we end with an inside bar today, an inside bar's meaning to us is that the trend that's in place will continue. That suggests that the Russell 2000 would go target the 1872 level. That's its 1.272 expansion. The semis are already up at the 1 to 1.618 level, so you certainly want to watch for any kind of reversal candle there. Typically, if we get a reversal candle in the uh, semiconductor, that should pull the markets lower. The transport's also struggling today. We mentioned that, or I should have mentioned that. We took a look at the uh, charts, but it, too, has an inside day. Now, we don't have an A to B equals CD pattern or anything along those lines here, but price is likely to go target its descending trend line, and that's in the uh, 14 115 area. We'll switch over, take a look at the white background version set of these charts out there. There may be a few others to take a look at, but just see if there's anything else that sticks out at us. And the answer is uh, not really. Um, so you can see the transports, they also are in bar number six. They're the most advanced with regard to their TD9 count patterns, but that's not going to mean a thing until sometime next week. And it may not mean a thing at all because the TD9 count pattern may not unfold at all. Folks, stay tuned for your favorite polar bear. David Whitey's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll see you back here tomorrow, 1 o'clock sharp. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.